What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the finale to the grind to Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. This is going to be episode number 11 and this is actually going to be our final episode of the season here. Now, it kind of sounds a little weird because like I said, this was supposed to be like an every other day thing, which makes me really think that we did this actually within 20 to 25 days of the season, just because some days, obviously it was two days in between. Some days we uploaded this every day, you know, uh, but either way though, um, thank you guys seriously for all the love that you guys did show on this series. So do me a favor and get this video to 500 likes. If you guys do want to see this series continue in the next season, in season number four, obviously there's going to be a brand new card, brand new challenges, and a lot of other stuff to do so like i said if you guys want to see it to continue be sure to kill that like button for your boy if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button again i do apologize still i'm with my family and my face cam did break when i came here so unfortunately i don't have it and i'm not gonna lie i completely forgot to get one yesterday so don't yell at me well, actually i told you guys you can yell at me so feel free to yell at me but let's take a look at all these different challenges that did come out um yesterday and over the last few days that did actually help me entirely complete um, the grind and get me to level 40. You guys can see it's starting off, uh, starting us off at the beginning because we do have Dwayne Wade already. Um, so let's take a look. So first of all, today's daily challenges, a uh, nice little 400 XP. I obviously didn't do them because I don't need to do them anymore. Um, and plus like who really wants to play unlimited for fun? Like I said, who wants to play unlimited for fun? Yeah. You see this? This is why I mean, I'm actually like beyond happy. I was able to get it done without having to play unlimited at all. So definitely worked out for me. But uh, yeah, I mean, over the last few days, um, last few weeks, really, we've seen a lot of good challenges between this double take promo, between the retro 2K promo. We have all these different season challenges that have been able to come out recently. Those are all really good as well. We had these weak ones that did um, get them done or get, I was able to get them done, obviously. Um, the spotlights, triple that offline, triple that online. And then we yesterday, we did have the NBA is back. Now, this was actually one of the biggest ones that did come out Um if I can remember, it gives you 7,500 XP, and these were really good. Like I said, I stacked these up with a lot of the Season 3 Tatum ones that did come out, which we'll talk about in a second here. Um, but like I said, these were actually huge. Um, they came out of nowhere, and again, these were super easy to do. So if you guys haven't done these yet, and you guys are trying to go for Wade, be sure you guys do these. I mean, these are like beyond easy. I mean, like, like I kind of talked about it yesterday a little bit, but again, 30 points with Steph in a game, 10 assists with a point guard, and 7 threes with a shooting guard. All three of these you guys can do with Steph, so that's already done in one game, so you can do that while you're using, you know, winning a game with seven Lakers players. Um, you have all of these that are super easy. I did two of these in, like, I did the, uh, no, I did the Nets in one game, and then I did the Lakers in another game of both of these unlimited games. The Clippers I did in the domination game that you need to win, and then the challenge game I did the Warriors, which, again, it is just insanely easy to do all this stuff, so make sure you guys do it. It's a bunch of XP. Um, Another thing we did see come out on the, the in the next or last few days, excuse me, um, is the pink diamond token market challenges that did come out as well. These were a little bit, you know, more time consuming, but again, very easy to do, especially if you're stacking them up with other stuff. They are very easy, like I said. So, I mean, you can sit here and just grind triple dirt offline and be able to get, you know, most of these done. So, like I said, though, going back to the top, you guys can see that the most recent season challenges that did, that did come out were the Jason Tatum ones. Now, I didn't even finish these ones. I didn't even need to. I did get the Murray ones mostly done, the Siakam ones all done, then two of the uh, Taco Fall ones, and then finally, the Jason Tatum ones, which was 120 points. Now, if you guys actually want to see hear something funny, I did actually play through an entire triple threat game of shooting threes, which I say entirely triple threat game. wasn't really that long, but I shot seven threes for no reason. It's points in the paint, so you really have to just drive in, which is a little bit more annoying, but it is what it is. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you guys can see, like a lot of you guys ask me, oh, do you, you know, do you have to do every single challenge? And you know, if you don't do every single challenge, are you going to fall behind? You guys can see there is still two and a half weeks left basically in this season. And already I didn't finish the dailies today. I've already missed a day of dailies from the beginning of the season. I missed some of the Thanksgiving challenges already missing four of the Tatum ones. And then I didn't do any of the unlimited ones. And we already were like, we were top five on getting this card. I mean, if it wasn't top five, it was like top 10. But either way, it's super easy to get the stuff as long as you're just keeping up on your challenges and stuff like that. You guys can see we're still chilling with around 700k MT as well. Now I know the MT is a little bit more of you know of a tough part, which <clears throat> we'll kind of get to that in a minute here. Um, but outside of that, though, you know, just to give you guys an update, we obviously you know did hit these 600 wins for the season. 
uh, which, I mean, at this point, I'm probably well over 800, probably even closer to 850 wins between all the different challenges that I've done in Triple Dead Offline and between all the games where I sat here trying to get Wayne Embry, which we finally were able to do, thank God. So, um, yeah, that's just the update there. Weekly challenges have all been completed between all the different promos and stuff that did come out. These are for the idols, obviously, the Flash 4, Double Take, and Retro 2K. Spotlights all have been completed. Uh, I did expect to see some spotlights today. I don't know why we didn't see them, but honestly, not really going to complain because when spotlights don't come out, that means I don't have to sit here, and especially because I haven't been really been able to stream, um, I would prefer to you know not have to do spotlights by myself. That's just not going to be fun. Today, we did see a moments challenge, though, for this Ruby Karis LeVert. This Karis LeVert does add into the Galaxy Opal Baron Davis set, which we will be seeing soon, so I am a little excited for that. Um, and then finally they have the signature challenge, which is from the beginning of the season where you do have the Shaq challenge that does give you the hall of fame badge and the diamond shoe every season. We will be seeing one of those. And then I'm not on next gen right now, but next gen does have that bulls challenge, which has been completed. Um, uh, taking a look at multiplayer stuff. Um, obviously my record is still pretty good. 27 and two. Uh, we are in the Amos league. You guys already know, I will get to the galaxy opal tier before the season's over. Um, I just, it's not really a priority for me. Unlim or now talking about limited, I do have the, uh, you know, all the championship rings so far. Still debating on if I want to get Aaron Gordon or if I'm going to just go for the Hall of Fame badge. Honestly, as of right now, I'm actually looking more towards the Hall of Fame badge. You guys can kind of let me know what your thoughts are on that. I think personally the Hall of Fame badge will be better for me, but we'll see what happens there. Um, and then I think that's really the only other thing to give an update on. I mean, I do have this Ruby Unlimited box, which you know what? I will go ahead and throw it in this video. I was going to go ahead and put it in like a different pack opening video, but there's really no point. You don't get anything good out of these. Um, I actually believe that. Actually, that Ralph of Friends or whatever, however you say his name, is actually going to be really good for uh, Limited. So I will gladly take that. We do have an extra jaw as well which we don't really need to worry about that. But uh, yeah, just to give you guys some more, a little bit of an update here on the Galaxy Opal Baron Davis situation. You guys can kind of see, you know, how close we really are to getting him. Um, we're about, you know, five cards away. Tomorrow we're going to log in, get this mellow. That's why I said five cards. One of them is going to be the spotlight reward. And then we have four other cards that are going to obviously be added in at some point. So that'll be interesting to see, you know, how that Baron Davis plays and whatnot. Um, like I said, we have almost all the spotlight cards. Uh, we do have, or we did end up getting Connie Hawkins. So this whole entire season was actually pretty much a W for me. Um, it was a long grind, but you know what? We did it again. Um, like I said, the only real card that I guess I'm missing, what even is this card? Oh, Dr. J. I was going to say the only like card that I guess I am kind of missing from, uh, this season is, uh, Iggy. So we really have to just, you know, grind unlimited. We might get Iggy. We might not. I don't know. I kind of have a funny video I want to do with him. I'm sure you guys kind of get the meme behind it already. I, I think I am going to probably grind out though. Um, I can't really do it now, which is the only problem because my I'm not playing on a connected thing. So um, I don't really want to like lag out. And I know error codes have already been an issue. So I'm really not trying to deal with that. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But this is going to be my updated team though at the end of season number three. I mean, it was a pretty, pretty good season. I would say at least our team definitely got a hell of a lot better in season three. Uh, I think Cam, is Cam season two or season three? I think he might have been season two. No, he might. I don't know. We're going to just say that he's season three because he seems kind of new. Uh, so we did add Cam to the team. No, we didn't. I, I lied. Cam was definitely season two. But in this season, though, we did add Dwight to the God Squad. We added Derrick Rose. We obviously added in this Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. We got Wayne Embray on the team. We got George Gerving on the team. We definitely added a lot of ghosts to the squad. And then we have the best one and the most important one, me. So thank you guys so much for watching though. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like on the video. It would be really appreciated. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And like I said, man, if you guys want to see the series continue, go crazy on that like button. And I will definitely bring it back for season number four. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.